Here are some facts about every building in Clash of Clans. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I may have mentioned some of these facts in other videos, but I wanted to keep the tradition going as my last video for troops and mention every building. Like, every. Of course, excluding duplicates. Since the Builder Hall has some buildings like cannons and Teslas, and they're pretty much the same exact building as the home village, I won't be mentioning those. That's the only exclusion here. But yeah, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Many people know that the air defense went through a redesign, but what most people don't know is that that was not the first time. If you remember, the shop icon for defenses depicted an air defense with blue and red rockets. But wait a second, we never had an air defense with blue and red rockets. Or did we? Yes, we did. For only a month though, before September 2012, the air defenses did in fact look like the ones in the shop. The concept of the master builder's hut was originally just a decoration for the builder base before they eventually decided to give it a purpose. The spell factory and the wizards are unlocked at the same town hall level, but that's not a coincidence. This is because the factory is considered home to veteran wizards, meaning without wizards, the spell factory wouldn't be operated. You also used to train spells with gold before November of 2013, but I think we all knew that, so um... Yeah. The chimney on the side of a builder barracks actually represents the production of the weapons for the troop, not the troop's training. Every town hall starting at level 9 has a unique theme. Town hall 13 was also nearly a jungle themed town hall because the first concepts of the world champion were very brown and jungle y. I don't know. Eventually, when town hall 13 was changed to a winter theme, they changed the world champion's colors. It wasn't until Town Hall 14, which was recently released, that the jungle theme returned. In the single player campaign, the level 1 cannon that appears in the payback mission is weaker than a normal level 1 cannon, doing only 2 damage per second and only having 250 hit points. Oddly enough though, that cannon is not considered a defensive building in the game files. The Archer Tower is currently the most of one defensive building you can build in the game. The Lava Launcher was originally named the Poison Mortar during its concept stages due to it having poison spell-like effects on troops. The Air Sweeper's pushback icon and the Spring Trap's bounce icon are the same exact icon just in different directions. The hidden Tesla gets its name and appearance from the Tesla coil, invented by the scientist Nikolai Tesla. Tesla coils wirelessly transmit electricity to its destination. The way Tesla coils transmit electricity appears similar to how hidden Teslas attack in the game. The skeleton on top of the bomb tower is confirmed to be a bomber and not a wall breaker. This may be obvious for a lot of people, but yeah. Expos under construction also count toward the Expo Exterminator achievement. The Inferno Tower had no multi-target at launch. This was a feature added later on. Also, there were plans to possibly make the Level 7's fire blue, but they ultimately decided to keep it at its usual red fire for various reasons. The Super Troop Sauna is a reference to how some saunas in Finland are shaped. When a troop finishes training, smoke appears in the army camp that the troop will go to. It is also the only army building which is not bought in a shop and is already in the base when you first open up the game. Obviously, of course, as you level up, you buy some more. Prior to the October 23rd, 2018 update that changed the shop, the army category depicted barracks with orange roofing which is what the barracks had in its beta version days. Yeah, I didn't even know this either. If you surround a dark barracks with walls, the trained troops will walk through the walls instead of jumping. This also applies to the normal barracks as well. It also seems to have stairs leading underground. This could mean that the dark troops are trained in an entirely different part of the base. Perhaps, well, underground. The laboratory is currently the only building that can only be upgraded exactly one time per town hall level. The laboratory also has four entryways instead of two, but the two behind it aren't very obvious since you can only see the arches for the entry and not the actual entries. 
If the player only brews elixir spells but not dark spells, the dark spell factory will still play its brewing animation and vice versa. It's believed that the workshop and the builder's workshop arena in Clash Royale have a direct connection to each other. This wouldn't be the first time Clash Royale and Clash of Clans hide easter eggs in their games. The gold mine brings gold in a form of raw ore to be later smelted and turned into coins. Even if the gold storage is completely empty, there will always be one single coin in it. As of May 2016, Collecting Elixir has a new sound effect. Prior to this update, Collecting Elixir sounded like this. The level 9 Elixir storage tank seems to be floating on its supports. According to a tweet by Clash of Clans, Dark Elixir is a renewable clean energy source. But this contradicts a post they did a while back that said Dark Elixir was a form of fossil fuel. If a rebuilt clan castle is destroyed in a raid, it will exactly resemble the original clan castle ruins. I know the boat isn't really a building, but a cool fun fact, prior to May 2017, the boat could be seen in war bases floating among the trees. Also, when you look at an abandoned base that hasn't logged on since that update, the boats won't be there. If you tap on the horse in the strongman's caravan, it will sneeze. Although the description implies that the two cannon barrels fire two shots each per valley, all four shots appear to come out of the middle of both of these cannon barrels. So it's not really coming out of any of them then. Okay, although the air defense and the firecrackers are different buildings, I felt like I had to mention that they do practically the same exact thing. I know a lot of people will comment, hey, what about the firecracker? But yeah, all the facts are pretty much the same, so yeah. The Crusher is the only defensive building in the game that doesn't shoot anything. At ClashCon 2015, the sneak peek of the Eagle Artillery was shown to fire a yellow beam into the sky that drops onto enemy targets. However, that has since been changed into a valley of three consecutive shots of orange artillery shells. Okay, this one is a classic and I think everyone knows. But if you drag an idle builder's hut, you will see the builder resting on the ground peacefully. When the Builder Hut is placed somewhere else, he'll just run there. So yeah, you just woke him up. Why? Although the Electro Owl is not unlocked until level 2, the Birdhouse is present at level 1. Originally, a second guard post was planned for Builder Hall 7, but has since been removed entirely. In a commercial, it's revealed that the wizard that's on top of the wizard tower lives inside of it. Although the multi mortar appears to have only 3 barrels at level 1, it still fires 4 shots per burst. This is likely to keep the consistency with all the other levels, because all of them shoot 4 and all of them have 4 barrels. The roaster fires faster than any other defense in the game, firing 1 shot every .12 seconds, slightly faster than the expo and the inferno tower in the home village. Interestingly, the giant goblin does less damage than a regular cannon despite the cannonballs being bigger than the cannonballs from the regular cannon. Eh, that don't make sense. The mortar, along with the cannon, hidden tesla, bomb tower, expo, and inferno tower are the only defensive buildings that are in Clash Royale. The builder hall has the same hammer and saw on top as the builder's hut and the master builder's hut. At max level, the gem mine produces 4.8 gems per day. In a longer perspective, a max level gem mine will generate 1,752 gems in one non-leap year and 1,756.8 gems in a leap year. Supposedly, auto stands for three different things. Organizational Tidying Trimmer Organizer, Orbital Tedium Tending Orderly, or outstanding tolerable tribute. I, I can't read this. Here, I'll just show you all three of them. The Star Laboratory is the Master Builder's favorite building, as it's mentioned in the tutorial. The Clock Tower's hand makes a full rotation every 30 seconds. This is double the speed of the second hand on a regular clock. The March 21st, 2016 update gave the Dark Elixir storage more visual states to indicate more clearly how full or empty they were. Because of the relatively slow speed of the air bombs that are launched, it's possible for some air troops, like beta minions, to outrun a bomb if it moves away from the bomb fast enough. The same applies to air bombs in the home village. 
The boulder on the back that the scattershot launches seems to have no cracks in between the ropes, indicating large rocks being tied up. However, the attack shows the boulder being made up of tons of small rocks. So, um, what's going on here? The Tesla coil on top of the Mega Tesla at level 8 resembles the Tesla coil on the Sparky from Clash Royale and also resembles the level 7 laboratory and the level 7 hidden Tesla. So guys, that should be it for pretty much a few facts about every building in Clash of Clans. I said few because some buildings had two or three facts, while others just had one. But yeah, nonetheless, I learned a lot when researching for this video. It's uh, pretty interesting. Like Jesus, after so many years of playing this game, I'm still learning things from just researching a little bit. Anyways, of course, there are many more facts about the buildings in Clash of Clans. There's a lot of buildings and there's a lot more facts. So if you have any that are interesting, leave them down below. And uh, yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.